It is absolutely not like you see on TV. Um, the fingerprint doesn't pop up with the exact person and their address and their history. Um, when we do get uh, what we call the hit on the computer system, it still has to come to a latent examiner to be compared by eye underneath a magnifying glass. And after it's been determined that it is an identification, it goes to another latent examiner that does the exact same process all over again, which is what we call the verification process. And it's a checks and balances system to ensure that no bad IDs are made and to ensure that no IDs may have gone missed. We look at the prints to see if they potentially get a hit. If they do, we go underneath the magnifying glass and do our comparison phase where we compare the latent print to a known set of standards and we make a determination as to whether the prints are identified to that individual or not. A set of standards are a known set of prints that are already in the computer system for some other reason, um, whether the person has a prior arrest where we can pull up those prior arrest prints or they may have been an applicant for let's say a concealed weapons permit at some point in time and their prints would be on file as well. Well, when you look at a fingerprint, you look at all the ridges. Along those ridges, there's different points that we call um, points of minutia. It could be an ending ridge where a ridge just stops. It could be a bifurcation where the ridge forks into two different ridges. There could be a dot, which is just one tiny ridge structure with one pore. Um, it could be a short ridge, which would be um, maybe three or four short ridges in a row or a long one. Um, there could be an island uh, or an enclosure where a ridge will come and then there'll be like a little bubble in between. So we look for all those different points of minutia um, and compare them to from the latent to the known and we look at the spatial relation between all those individual points of minutia as well. It's rewarding to know that it's a very specialized field and uh, not many people like it or can do it. You either have an eye for latent fingerprint identification or you don't. Um, it's rewarding to be able to identify a bad guy in a case to ensure that the bad guys are going away and getting justice and um, bringing closure for the families as well.